Hello YouTube, I have decided to finally continue my web development tutorial series and I am restructuring it. I have seen tons of tutorials all over YouTube about how to make website CMS's, content management systems, and to be honest I am not very uh, proud of some of the ones I've actually gone through with and actually uh, watched because they they lack a framework they lack they lack structure see most people make tutorials on how to <coughs> make a administration system uh, make comments and posts and all sorts of stuff but it's mostly just loosely structured websites just a, a folder with the includes for, such as the functions and a folder with the administration pages and then a folder with uh, the home pages and stuff like that but there's no structure behind it if anything, it's loaded through an index file, and that's and that's about it. But uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a website based on a framework, not just any framework, a model view controller framework. Now, Wikipedia tells us that model view controller is a software architecture, and uh, you can see this on this page right here. And basically, model what model view controller is is it's a pattern of software programming used in order to make your coding more simple. It makes it more isolated and you can uh, find the problems easier and you can work with it. It's much more easy to work with than just loosely coded sites. Basically you have a view which displays information to the user. You have a model which uh, basically retrieves information from the database it can sort the information, it can uh, change the information, it can um, categorize it, stuff like that. And then it sends it to the controller, and the controller acts as an operator or a basically a, li a liaison. And it then tells the view how to display it. It gives it to the view to display to the user. So, for instance, you'll have a database with all your users. Your model will retrieve those users, and the controller will take the users, and it'll decide whether you can see certain users or not, and then it'll tell the view which ones you can see, and then the view will display them. Something like that. It's, it's more complicated than that oftentimes, but that's just a general example. Now, we'll be using a model view con uh, controller framework that a acquaintance of mine on MSN has made. He's a very talented PHP programmer and I would suggest uh, seeing more of his development but I'll get to that part in a second. Before we download his model view controller I want you to get your server set up on your computer so you can start testing some of the stuff we're going to be doing. So go ahead and get WAMP Server 2 or some other thing you want to use. I guess if you're using Windows you'll either get WAMP Server or ZAMP. I never really use ZAMP though. I, I mostly just use WAMP Server. If you're using Mac, you'll probably use MAMP and then LAMP for Linux or something like that. So, yeah, just uh, go to wampserver.com slash en slash download dot php and I will leave the link in the description, but generally just download WAMP Server 2.0i. That's the one I'm using. Uh, then, once you've downloaded WAMP, go ahead and run it. And once you run it, it will display down here as a little half wheel. And if it's white, that means it's online. If it's red, then you need to go ahead and start all services right here. Now, just a rundown of what you got here. Localhost takes you to the actual directory in the browser of where your site is at, or sites are at. PHP My Admin is where you can edit your databases, WW directory. That opens the directory of your websites. These are all of your websites. Ignore those. Those are all of the websites I've created. We'll be creating a new one for this tutorial purpose. Go ahead and minimize that for now. We'll be using that again in a second. Uh, then you've got your Apache. You can change your Apache settings in HTTP config. If you're having problems and this thing down here so is yellow and the server won't uh, work properly, then Apache problems might be the cause, and then you'll need to go ahead and see the Apache access and error logs to see if there are any problems. Then PHP, you can change your settings in PHP any, and MySQL, you can change the settings in my any. And if you're familiar with the MySQL console, you can edit your databases via here. So, go ahead and uh, we'll get out of that for now. Now I want you to get a text editor so you can uh, edit your code. I personally use Notepad++. It's my favorite. Just go to notepad-plus-plus.org and download it. 
download the current version. And once you've got Notepad, I will highly recommend that you go to the SourceForge no Notepad++ plugin page, and I will leave it in the description, a link to it. And go down here and find Explorer right here. Go ahead and download that. That's a very important plugin to have. Now, once you have all that, go ahead and run Notepad++. This is my Notepad++. As you can see, it has a black background. The reason for that is I went into settings and went to Style Configurator, and I used the Zen Burn style. It's much easier on the eyes than, a, than the classic white background, in my opinion, anyways. Um, now, I, my default white background has been changed, so I can't exactly show you what the default looks like, but uh, I just use Zen Burn, generally. And this over here is the Explorer. <coughs> the Explorer can be opened by going to Plugins, Explorer, right here. Now, uh, the Explorer allows you to navigate through your files. I'm already in the WAMP www directory, and these are all my websites. Once you're in here, go ahead and create a new website and name it whatever you want. I already created one called Tut Site. Go ahead and go into it. This is your directory for all of your web files. Now that we've got that established, minimize Notepad, and we will get to the MVC framework. This is the website of a developer a PHP developer that I know of and his name is Andrew Judd from the looks of it and the website is development.andrewjudd.ca I'll leave the link in the description and once you're on this page his framework is right over here mini MVC miniature model view controller framework and 1.01 zip that is the file you'll be wanting he'll probably be updating the different versions later on and it, uh, new versions will come out and you'll want to download them probably uh, that's at your discretion but uh... go ahead and open up the the current version that you just downloaded and transfer all four of these files these are the four files that you'll need well two folders and two files um, for your website remember when you opened up the www directory well go to your site touch site is mine and transfer all these files over to it now you have all of these web files in your website folder and these are the files you're going to be needing for the MVC framework. Now to run down what the MVC framework is like, basically app, this is where your website will be built and it will be built using controllers right here. These are the built-in ones. We'll get to that later. Models, this is the only built-in one, the base model. And then views. Uh, there are quite a few built-in ones. We'll probably be discarding some of these. The main one is the header and the footer. And the errors, of course. That's that's important as well. Libraries and helpers, we won't be using just yet. Config, that's where your config file is at. But we won't be using that much yet either. And I need you to go ahead and... Oh, uh, before that, actually. System, don't edit anything in here. System is the core functionality of the model view controller framework generally you won't edit anything there this right here this HD access file will need to be edited in the future that file basically shows where error files are gonna be at and it it's it's kinda server type stuff I'll go into depth on that later if you've ever created a custom 404 page you'll know what this file is index you won't change that much but we'll go into that later as well so you now have the model view controller framework and open back up notepad plus plus go over here and the files have been updated they're all there create a new file and call it config.php I know there's one in the uh, app folder app config folder but I you'll be needing another one here this is gonna be your database configuration and we'll go, go into creating databases and using them with this MVC framework in the next tutorial and we'll also be creating our first database functionality and yep this tutorial is pretty much over you've now set up your MVC framework and we're now ready to get started on creating a website I know it seems intimidating at first and I've been very broad in this first introduction but I'm just this introduction is me getting you the files you need and the programs you need in order to design most likely you already have a home server set up and you already have your choice of a of a text editor but this is the MVC framework we're using so go ahead and uh, 
I don't know, open it up and start reading the code and get used to it, and I will start uh, briefing you on how we're going to go about making the site off of this in the next tutorials. I, I know it probably looks a little intimidating at first, but trust me, you're going to want to do this. The positives of the MVC framework is smooth functionality, being able to create uh, stuff at a much faster pace, being able to edit stuff at a faster pace because you'll only have to go to the specific view to fix a formatting problem. You'll be able to go to the controller to fix a, uh, I don't know, selecting problem and then a model to fix what data is being taken from the database. And you'll be able to select where or find where all the errors are at at their core. You'll be able to, to isolate errors and fix them much faster. And the site will just generally be much more you know, streamlined, much more up to today's standards. I guarantee you sites like Facebook and YouTube, they use a framework. They don't just loosely create pages. That would not be very safe. Another positive side of this is the developer of this framework also included his database class, which uh, is you that can be used to sanitize your queries and make sure that your site is safe from injection. Basically, if, the, if it wasn't safe from injection, they could just delete all of your data without you even knowing about it. So yeah, this is a very safe program, and I can't wait to get started on developing with it. Um, I'll catch you in my next tutorial. Until then, I am signing off. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to mention you should go and check out thepctakeover.com. That's another site that me and a friend run, and it looks like this the PC takeover.com the title is game system X but I am using this this uh, site domain for it because I have no other domains to use so yeah just go check it out we write game reviews on a regular basis on it so uh, go ahead and check it out and I'll see you in my next tutorial so see you then